Greetings, greetings, peace and greetings. I just want to show you this. This actually purpose behind this card. The journey, the journey onward. Greetings, blessings. I know you haven't seen or heard from the kid for a while, but anywho, let me get to the point because as I'm receiving this message or download this clarity i would love to share this with all divine souls all people that will come and be guided to this video set divine intentions put out the most bliss and purposeful energies so that all will be aligned and called to this video and during these moments so i will share what has come to me <laughs> As I'm speaking with a reflection, a sister, or, you know, a uh, reflection of the feminine aspect of who I am, a woman, uh, it came to me that um, this whole miscon misconception or this manipulation on how, um, you know, the dark has seemed to be evil, but the light has seemed to be good. Or is to say, you know, as I express to people, when you look at a battery post, the battery post has uh, both negative, has a positive and negative on the post, meaning that when you look at one side of a battery, it has a positive, and then on the other side, I'll let that loud car go by. <laughs> That's a sign, the car. So, um, the negative on the battery, which is like a minus sign, then you have the plus, which is the positive. And you have to see, I'm just letting you know how this mental awareness is also vital to everything that is divinely unfolded in these moments. I love hearing the birds, uh, the messengers. But anywho... So as I'm sharing something with someone, I'm getting clarity. I'm like, ah, the misconception of what positive and negative is. And it's like, oh, everyone wants to be positive, but no one wants to be negative. It's like for every good you have, there is evil. For every, you know, what's done in the dark, you know, must be illuminated in light. And so this is what spirit sees as polarity or energy. So, that being said, um, the battery post is just like that of your body, or who you are. So, who's to say the negative is so much bad? Or, who's to say, and it's interesting, I'll say this, when you actually see like a, what do you call it, a double, a, a tip, uh, blah, blah, blah. what is it, um, a double A battery? Notice that on the battery, the positive side pokes out. So the side that's poking out represents the light, the action, that which you can see. The negative is that you see the negative on the other side of the battery, but it doesn't, it's not visible, it's just what it is. So that, in essence, is like that which spirituality is or what we know as source or creation as above, so below, as within, so without. So this this whole misconception I have been telling, and this is also imagination or mental awareness, and this is also how we have to see how the world has been so consumed by the, you know, the material aspect of life, the physical, and not so much of the spiritual aspect. And so that being said, that's why these coming moments you will see those that are so much focused on a physical plane or realm that the physical, the spiritual is just as vital. So that negative, look, I'm going to express like how you see the physical and negative. The positive is like that of the physical. And uh, the negative is like that of the darkness, the spiritual the unseen 
So I'm sitting here like, wow. You know, where I'm sharing with this sister, like, you know, we're speaking about vibrations, frequencies. We're speaking about, uh, you know, how babies come and how, you know, when the baby's in the womb, they react off the vibration of the mother. Truth and love is a vibration. Love is that of an action. But also you have to see how the world has saw this love or, you know, visualized love from a physical perspective. You know, just the the whole illusion and and deceive way of how it is to obtain and receive love, which that which love is an internal thing. It is something that is has always been internalized. It is a vibration. It is a frequency. That's why again the spiritual aspect shows us that in essence we are love, returning to love. So we are emitting love through action. And so that, again, if you look at a battery as above, so with as above, so below, as within, so without. So if we are everything, the so-called God or the most high, the creator, if source is within us. And we, again, from above, so below, we are here as creation of source. We are co-creators. And also, as within, so without, then this is how, again, from source, a star seed or a baby is created. From within, having knowledge from within, and then is brought into the physical. And so during this whole process, I expressed to her like sharing like, you know, you know, when the baby's in the womb, this is why, you know, after they come out, they experience or in the womb, they are familiar with what we know as white noise. For those that don't know what white noise is, you know, you can YouTube it or search it. But it's like that of like meditation or inner silence where everything is silence, but you still there's still a sense of being connected to everything. Or it's like that even in the silence, there's still a lot, like one meditating, even in the silence, there's still a lot of chatter or chaos. But it's a sense of being still. See, we have to see how the world has portrayed love as to be something to obtain in the physical, when really it's something that has always been within us. It has all, we have always been the essence of that which is love. And see, now we are coming, those that are, are rooted in truth, the vibration of truth rooted, meaning like the roots of a tree. When you return to the roots, the roots are in the darkness. That which we, have, the world has perceived as being negative. The whole wickedness and, you know, all these dark things and how darkness has been shamed upon. Notice how white is praised in a sense of imagery. I did, um, I met with these three beautiful uh, young men or sons and and uh, I remember, I recall uh, being, uh, this experience I had as a child. And this guy was uh, basically stood in front of maybe 10 or 15 kids and you know, we were in this building and uh, he said, um, I would give anyone ten, twenty dollars who could get this answer right. So, um, I'm gonna express to you just how powerful imagery is, and just everything that is connected to imagery, frequency, everything vibrational. Um, so that being said, he had a blank white piece of paper, and he held up the paper. You know, he kept asking people, what color is this? Everybody kept saying white. This is white. You know, oh, that's white. He said, he pointed to something else, another object. He was like, oh, this is white. You know, we were like, oh, that's white. Everybody like, yeah, that's white. That's white. And so he proceeded to say, what do cows drink? Everyone but one, one young, uh, one beautiful girl said, we all said milk except one a girl. And she said, water. 
see what I'm getting at is that again the power of imagery and also the power of vibration we not only receive information through our eyes through our ears but we also receive through what we um, it's like that of a sponge we download and receive and process things like from the womb meaning that we have to see the beginning of which the child comes and is created doing that whole cycle of which is created and then also how and what the mother is experiencing this is goes back this is uh talks about again how many of us know what it is to have conscious relationships you know we we receive relationships with our uh guardians you know those that were in our lives and we have to see how now we are the ones that are becoming more aware or conscious of these um higher level of awareness or higher level of consciousness you know being in our authenticity standing in our truth and that which again scientifically spiritually or just uh you know, cosmically, however you want to perceive it, seeing how all these things are connected. And so that being said, how vital it is to where the programming began in the womb of the woman. And then how the vibrations of, you know, even where we're in relationships or how we lay, you know, connect with people. And this is mainly for the bringing forth the healing of the matriarchal. This divine feminine and this divine masculine or these men or women that we're seeking are aspects and reflections of ourselves. And so when we are leveling up or becoming more aware consciously due to the fact that we had to face our own subconscious fears and all these things, then vibrationally we are becoming higher at a higher level of awareness mentally, spiritually, and physically. This is why we're seeing... Uh, what is happening in the world, the dismantling of the old. And then this allows us to be a part of a, the ascension, not only individually, but collectively. This is why we're seeing what has happened. What happens, everything that is happening physically has already happened spiritually. And that goes back into even the beginning of the womb or how we are created. Again, the sperm, the egg, all these things are inside. Your organs are inside. All the things that we are created from comes from within. Only to show, be able to come into the physical for us to actually visualize what inwardly we had to embrace and face. If that makes sense. It makes sense to me, but I know those that get it. You get it, but anywho. And see, we are no longer looking, again, the world, the old was seeking outside of ourselves, seeking validation. You have to see how much the world itself, women, men, or, you know, beings, spiritual beings, or whatever you are, you have to see how the external has been the vocal point. And it's no longer, that was the old way, the deception, the manipulation, you know, the energies that were playing out. Now it's all being countered because we are at a higher level of awareness. And we're seeing that it's, this is the moment where we have to, uh, we are reconnecting with our essence of who we are. We are reconnecting with the spiritual gifts that we've always had, but no longer can they be ignored. Because when Big Mama step in, Mama Magic, this is the magic that's happening. Those of you that know mothers, you have had a connection with your the child since the embryo, first when the placenta was created, with the father. You are co-creating with someone. You are a co-creator. This is where your creative energy comes from. It's rooted in the root chakra, the sacred chakra, all these places. And we're getting more into depth about that. This is why the old is gone and the new is about the powers that be now, the light bringers, the bringers of the light, the bringers, you know, the light barriers, those that again are here on missions to to illuminate the wickedness, the unrighteousness, 
to bring forth and usher in a higher level of consciousness. Colle individually and collectively, the Aquarian age is I know. We are no longer in I believe. You are saviors of yourself. You are magical. You are powerful. You are trillions of cells. You have millions and billions of new, uh, neurotransmitters in your brain. You are created mostly of water. You are birthed from the water and your body is made up of water and molecules and minerals. Everything you see in nature, you are of that. <laughs> how fucking amazing is that? Your imagination is powerful. Look how powerful Daughter Earth or Mother Earth is when the water comes. When creation comes, you are birthing a new you. You are in the reflective stage in this in the Piscean Piscean uh or the Pisces season, coming into the Aries, the spring, the fire. Springing forward, blossoming. Now you are ready for this. You were sent here on this mission for this. Nothing here belongs to you. This is why the star seed, the babies, all these things you co-create with someone for spirit to remind you that nothing here belongs to you.